build a $700 gaming PC part two. Motherboard is now ready to put inside the case. The case we're using is this Fantex Eclipse G378. It's only $60. Our friends over at Fantex were nice enough to send this out. The first thing we wanna do is remove these side panels. Luckily, both of these are toolless, so it's super easy. Pro tip though, put these back in the case box so you don't break anything or lose any parts. Now this is a full ATX case that comes with three included fans, which is perfect for this budget build. The next thing we wanna check are these standoffs. And since we're using a full ATX board, we're gonna need nine standoffs total. Three, three, and three. W Fantex for having them already in there. But wait, before you put the motherboard in there, you need to check and see if your motherboard has a installed IO shield. Ours does not, so we need to put it in there. This is an IO shield, and typically the three holes always point towards the bottom, and it just snaps in right here. Now I can lay this case down flat and put the motherboard in it. Now when putting the motherboard inside the case, you wanna kinda go in at an angle. But before you screw anything in, you wanna make sure none of these ports are covered up, like this USB port right here. You may have to bend some metal out of the way so that you can actually use all of these ports. Then to secure the motherboard down, we're gonna use screws like this. Since it's a full ATX motherboard, we're gonna use nine screws. Just get them snug, don't over tighten. Now we're ready to install the power supply and plug up all the cables, so follow for part three. 